D'Angelico is a guitar brand that has really been making some waves in recent years. Even with their historic 87 years in the industry, D'Angelico is still a company that strives to innovate and inspire the next generation of guitar players. Now maybe you've seen these guitars on social media or even in the hands of one of your favorite artists, but chances are, if you clicked on this video, D'Angelico guitars have piqued your interest. So today I thought it would be fun for us to take a look at the two different tiers of the latest solid body lineup, the Premier and the Deluxe. It just so happens that I have two versions of the new for 2019 D'Angelico Brighton guitar. So we're gonna take a look at some of the key differences. We're obviously gonna take a listen to what each of these guitars sound like, and hopefully we will find the guitar that is right for you. So let's get into it. What's going on guys? If you're new to the channel, my name's Patrick. I'm a New York City based singer, songwriter, guitar player, music producer. On this YouTube channel, we talk about everything from gear and instruments to music production to songwriting. So consider subscribing. Let's get these guitars in the frame. There we go, much better. So I play a bunch of different guitars. I've got a lot of stuff here in the studio, but D'Angelico guitars are really what I've been playing the most lately. I have three of their guitars in my personal collection. I gig with these guitars, I write with these guitars. So I have a lot of experience with these guitars at this point, but one of the questions that I've never even really answered for myself is, what exactly is the difference between a Deluxe and a Premier? Obviously, there's a price difference and aesthetically they're a little bit different and they're probably gonna sound a little bit different, but I've never really rolled up my sleeves and checked it out for myself. And I thought it would be something really cool for us to do together. Maybe you're interested in picking up your first D'Angelico guitar and you're wondering, do I need a Deluxe? Or can I get the job done with the less expensive Premier? Well, the first place we should start is by checking out some of the specs. Now listen, we're not gonna go over every single little spec and measurement and detail. We'll be here all day. If you wanna do a total side-by-side -side comparison, I will link both of these guitars in the description below. But let's talk about some of the key differences and some of the things that I would consider if I were deciding between these two guitars. So let's start by talking about the available finishes. And at a quick first glance, these might look like they're the same color, but they're actually two slightly different finishes. This finish on the Premier Brighton is called Ocean Turquoise, and the guitar is also available in a black finish. And over here on the Deluxe, this is the Steel Blue finish. The Deluxe is also available in black, Natural Swamp Ash, and Hunter Green. Now, as far as the solid bodies are concerned, the Ocean Turquoise and the Steel Blue are only available on the Brighton models. The Premier model has standard D'Angelico tuners. These are their romantic stair-step tuners, while the Deluxe model will get you Grover locking tuners, which are really nice. It's a little bit less cumbersome to change out strings. You just slide the string through the locking tuner, you lock it in place, and you cut the string. You don't have to wrap it around the tuning peg or anything like that. And in my experience, locking tuners do stay in tune a little bit better, but locking tuners are not really make or break for me. Definitely a nice to have, but not a must have. Also in the nice to have camp are strap locks. So if you don't know strap locks are these little like button mechanism things that you install onto your guitar strap that will lock your strap in place with the guitar. So in theory, your guitar won't come disconnected from the strap as easy. Anyway, these come with the Deluxe model, but not the Premier. So let's talk about the electronics and more specifically the pickups. In our Deluxe model, we have Seymour Duncan 59 humbuckers, and these are really great humbuckers. My main electric guitar is a Deluxe Atlantic from D'Angelico, and that guitar also has Seymour Duncan 59 humbuckers. So I have a lot of experience with these pickups, and I really, really love them. On our Premier, the neck pickup is a Seymour Duncan HB102 humbucker pickup. The bridge pickup is a Seymour Duncan HB101 humbucker pickup. Now, personally, I've never used these pickups, so we're gonna check them out together in a few seconds here. Obviously, you expect the pickups in the Deluxe are probably gonna be just a little bit nicer, but I also know that D'Angelico wouldn't just put some crappy electronics in their guitar. The other thing to consider, if you were to go with the more affordable Premier model and you decide down the road that you wanna upgrade these pickups, that's something that's really easy to do, so something to think about. Both guitars do have the coil tapping feature, so with the simple pull of your tone knobs, you can get some great single coil tones out of these pickups as well. Moving on to the bodies of these guitars, the body of the Premier Brighton is made of basswood, and this is a pretty standard solid body tone wood. It's a really nice full 
sounding wood. And the Premier model also has the standard three ply binding. The Deluxe model has a swamp ash body, which is considered to be a more high end tone wood. It's a little bit warmer. It's got a little bit more sustain. The Deluxe model also has this seven ply binding, which I just love the look of. Both guitars have maple necks with satin finishes for really smooth playability, but the Deluxe model does have the walnut skunk stripe down the center of the neck. The fingerboard on a Premier model is made of Ovencall wood. Ovencall wood looks pretty similar to rosewood and it has a pretty full mid-rangey sound. And we've got these really nice white perloid inlays. Over on our Deluxe model, we have a paw ferro fingerboard. This is the same fingerboard that I have on my Deluxe Atlantic. So again, I have some experience with this. It's got an absolutely beautiful look to it. The wood has a really nice natural gradient and the wood also offers a really nice sustain. We also have these beautiful mother of pearl abalone split block inlays. The only other major difference between these two guitars is the case that ships with them. With the Premier model, you get this really great gig bag. And personally, I just prefer the convenience of a gig bag. Just having something that you can throw on your back like a backpack is just really nice to have. And if you think you're gonna be needing a hard shell case more than a soft shell case, you might wanna consider the Deluxe because the Deluxe ships with the Deluxe hard shell case. This is a really nice hard shell case. It's got a nice vintage look, great storage. Definitely nice to have with the Deluxe model. All right, guys, so that wraps up the notable spec differences. Again, if you want to do a full side-by-side -side spec comparison, I will link that info in the description below for you. But let's get into the sound test. I'm going to be running both of these guitars, obviously through the same signal chain. They're just going to go direct into my audio interface, and then I'm going to run Logic's amp modeling plugin on them. I'm going to use the same settings for both guitars so you can get a real good sense for the differences between the sound of these two guitars. With the coil tapping feature and the three-way switch, there's a ton of different pickup combinations you can run with these guitars. I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. And obviously I'll play a little bit, but I want to try to replicate what I do on each guitar the same way, because I really just want to give you guys a good sense for the difference in sound between these two guitars. So let's check it out.
So what do you think? Two pretty nice sounding guitars if you ask me. Let me know in the comment section below which guitar you think sounds better. Does the Premiere get it done for you or would you spring for the deluxe model? Personally, I was really pleasantly surprised by the Premiere. It definitely holds its own and for nearly half the price of the deluxe, you can have an incredibly capable and really beautiful guitar, so. But listen guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Be sure to stick around my YouTube and my Instagram for more content featuring the D'Angelico Brighton guitar. But listen, until next time, my name's Patrick. I'll catch y'all soon, all right? Peace.